Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So it is beginning to feel a bit like fall and, and winter is, is coming, right? We're starting to feel that with the, the morning frost out here, which allows for some pretty beautiful, uh, beautiful mornings. So I figured I'd share that with you. And for the one or two people in the entire world that were curious to know what lunar rock looked like with a layer of frost on it, well, <laughs> this is the video for you. So both of these guys are, of course, uh, frosted up this morning. Uh, but that's not the purpose of the video. I wanted to talk through the few modifications that I still plan to do for both the Forerunner and Tundra here. Uh, but first, let me geek out and show you what Lunar Rock looks like with this on it up close. Again, only probably two people in the entire world cared for this. But you're getting it. Kind of cool. All right, so let's talk for, uh, Tundra first. So I only have one additional thing coming for this at this point, and I am pretty stoked to get it. Uh, I went through Westcott Designs and I ended up ordering their um, rock sliders for this. If you guys know I me, mean, normally in the past, I, I lean toward the Go Rhino steps, which I still love. And I think, I don't know, I'm still kind of debating on <laughs> getting them on there too, but the, I figured I'd try something different, that's all. So I reached out to Westcott Designs, um, you know, I've worked with them a couple times in the past now, one time with uh, the lift on the Forerunner, which you guys know, and, and I love that. So I'm, I'm becoming a believer in their product for sure. Um, but I'm excited to get these sliders on it because they do have the kick out. If you guys can go to their site, you can check it out. Um, this one is the black with the kick out um, and they look pretty sweet. So I'm excited to get that on here. Uh, that, that'll be hopefully coming within the next two or three weeks. We'll see. Um, I know they've been getting a lot of orders recently, but hopefully we'll get that on. Excited to share that with you. But I'm also getting the Westcott Designs roof rack and rear ladder, the, the rear hatch ladder, if you will, to go that up to it. So that'll be going on the Forerunner here, which I'm pretty stoked about. Just looking through it and just kind of comparing reviews and testimonials on that compared to you know, even the Prince rack looks like it looks like people, at least from my ownership experience, I mean, people tend to even lean toward the Westcott. So I'm excited to get that, excited to try it out and share it with you guys. Um, I'm debating on if I wanted to do a rooftop tent on it, but pretty good on that. I'm debating on maybe even throwing this one onto the Forerunner to make the, the bed a little bit more functional <laughs> and usable on the Tundra. So more to follow on that. I'm still kind of weighing through what I wanted to do, but I figured I'd just kind of share the news with you. So. The rack, the rear ladder, and that is it. And that should really wrap up everything that I want to do to both of these guys for the time being. The only other thing I might consider moving forward is a lift for the for the Tundra here. And even that, I wouldn't be like a full swap. I would be a perch lift, similar to what I did with the Forerunner here. Um, coach Builder, blah, blah, blah. The typical stuff. I would try to keep... The, the Fox Tier Tune suspension on this. So more to follow on that, but that's it. I just want to share what they looked like all frosted up in the morning and, and geek out with you for a second on that. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys prefer a different roof rack, prefer a different lift, all that fun jazz. Appreciate you watching as always. Until next time.